Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Welcome to my channel. My name is Isa and I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash channeled messenger and bringing you lots of delicious, yummy love messages today. Um, thank you so much for being here again, guys. I really, truly appreciate it. I did just recently change the name of this channel. Um, so I am Channel Tarot Messages by Isa. I'm Isa, clearly. All right, uh, let's dive into it, guys. We're going to take a look at um, what's going on in your love life, how you feel, how your person feels, what's going on, their next move, stuff like that, all right? So please take the messages that resonate for you. Leave the stuff that doesn't. If nothing resonates at all in your sun sign, Taurus, then feel free to check out your moon rising and Venus signs that I have here um, or the older readings for Taurus, all right? Description box has everything you need to know about me and where to find me on social media platforms if you want to follow me and last but not least please don't forget help me out with that algorithm smash the love button if it does resonate please don't forget to subscribe come on back and see me all right okay let's look at the overall energy between you and the person most on your mind some of this may resonate for you in not a romantic way okay so however it does for you feel free to flip and reverse the roles as well okay overall energy please overall energy for taurus and the person on their mind knight of cups and ace of cups holy crap <laughs> holy shit balls all right so it looks to me like you may very well be either you're looking for a new relationship or you are in a brand new relationship here, Taurus. And it looks to me like a lot of you might be feeling love or you're falling in love. Okay, that's the energy that I'm getting. There's a lot of feelings that you have for somebody here and they may have the same for you. I feel like this is mutual energy. All right. Sorry, guys, I had to take a call. Okay, so we talked about this Knight of Cups and this Ace of Cups. There's a new love coming in here or there's somebody that you've been engaging with. Okay. Show me how Taurus feels about this person, please. Show me how Taurus feels about this person. What's Taurus thinking and feeling about this connection? Thank you. Oh yeah, you see a lot of potential here. Four of Wands, the Star, and the Four of Pentacles. This is not something you're letting go of, okay? Because you can see the potential in this connection. This looks a lot like what you have wanted, and I feel almost like this is a little bit of a shock for you guys, okay? Let's see what your person is thinking and feeling about you. What is this person connecting with Taurus romantically? What are they thinking and feeling about Taurus, please? What are they thinking and feeling about Taurus? This person sees you very independent, nine of pentacles, five of swords, queen of cups. You've been through something, okay? And this person knows that you very much with this five of swords are protecting yourself, okay? Definitely, you know, you say things to this person at times, Taurus, that lets this person know that... Um, you're not selfish, but you are out to get what you want and you need. And they're not mad at that, okay? Because because they know. It's as if this person knows that you've been through something, some healing process, or you're going through it with your value and your worth, okay? They see what you're worth. They see that you are dependable you have um value you work really hard you're incredibly independent you are also soft and kind and conscious and spiritual and deep and loving and a caring person right but they see that little bit of an edge about you and i almost feel like that little edge 
that little part that has been like fucked up from people you know doing things or hurting you having taken advantage of you they might see you as a person who in the past has been taken advantage of or easy, easily manipulated. I, I almost feel like they're trying to be gentle with you. Okay, so like taking time. Okay. What's the challenge in this connection? <clears throat> What's the challenge here? Nine of Wands. Yeah. So it, it's that, that hurting, that healing. You know, they know that they, there's guardedness here. It could be between both of you or it could be one of you. Taurus, I'm going to say I kind of feel like it's you. You could be dealing with an Aquarius here. I have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio pretty uh, strong as well. I kind of want to go ahead and start clarifying this now and then we'll move forward. All right. <clears throat> Why the Knight of Cups with the Ace of Cups, please? Clarify the Knight of Cups with the Ace of Cups. This has the potential to be long term. Ten of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an Aries. Somebody is very marriage minded here. Okay. This could be a one and done for you guys. I'm not kidding. Like this could be the one for you. Like this has the potential to go all the way. <laughs> this definitely has the potential to go all the way. Um, there's some healing involved with it, but it seems to me, Taurus, like you have somebody that gets that or understands, you know, that um, just because you've had a past, it doesn't mean that you're broken, okay, or anything of the sort. But there, that is the challenge. The challenge is that somebody may be a little bit guarded here, one or both of you, okay? Uh, you could be dealing with an Aries. Somebody is very marriage-minded, okay? Someone's very marriage-minded here. So let's see. We have Aquarius, too, with the star card. All right, guys? Why do you have the star here? Yeah, you're very hopeful that this is going to... you, But you go back and forth with it, okay? You go back and forth with it with the two of pentacles. You still are trying to heal, all right? So you your vibe may be in and out of this connection a little bit. Um, you may be wondering, I don't know, am I going to... Am I going to regret this if I go all in? Am I going to, is it going to be okay? Is this going to work? I think there's a little bit of worry here. All right. Why the four of wands for Taurus? Why the four of wands? You're really thinking about fully giving your heart to this person. Okay. Some of you may be wondering about engagement. I think there could be a very fast engagement in this connection here. You might be wanting to, um, you know, engage this person. Maybe you're the one who wants to ask this person to marry you, uh, but you're really, really thinking about it with the hangman Pisces energy. Okay. This is taking that pregnant pause to like, okay, do I really want to go in? Am I going to give my heart fully to this connection? Um, I know you guys want to hang on to it with the four of pentacles, but you're also protecting yourself. Okay. Which is fair. All right. If you've been through a lot, why the four of pentacles? Yeah, you're feeling a little bit stuck because you've been abandoned before. Um, you know, you're trying to remain neutral. Two of swords, five of pentacles. You're trying not to... <clears throat> How do I want to say? Let any kind of abandonment issue get in the way of this connection. Okay. I also feel like there's a little bit of protecting yourself because you're worried about somebody maybe letting you go if if you're if you're exposing your feelings too much okay this is a little bit complicated because i feel like taurus you guys might have been through a lot of stuff like a lot of you know relationships where people just you had this beautiful expectation it started out great and then all of a sudden you know somebody's just up and 
it's it's trash it's bullshit you know they're they're playing with your head um you know it be it's become a game people are emotionally manipulating you using you leaving you okay and you're really concerned i think that it's gonna switch up okay i think some of you are concerned it's gonna switch up why is this person feeling the nine of pentacles please about taurus why do they feel the nine of pentacles Okay, <clears throat> this person thinks of you very often, all right? Um, they, from the past, they always liked you. So it's almost as if from the first meeting point that you had, um, Six of Cups here, this person has always seen you in a very good light. It's very hard to change this person's mind about you. They have this very nostalgic feeling, maybe even past life soulmate type of vibe with you, um, and they see you as is somebody incredibly independent and they know that you've been hurt all right and i just feel like they want to show you a lot of love why else the nine of pentacles yeah the tower as i said before this person is also surprised that they feel this way about you that they think of you a lot and that they like they're so attracted to like your independence and your sassiness or whatever it is that you're kind of they're actually attracted to the fact that you're kind of not letting them in but you are letting them in you know it's like you have this weird sort of way about you that's independent and protective but also open and loving at the same time they're very shocked about how they feel about this connection why the five of swords why the Five of Swords? Why do they feel the Five of Swords? Thank you. Um, you've said something to this person and it's it's enlightened them, okay? They're very aware that you have been hurt and manipulated in the past, okay? I see them sending you a lot of messages, talking to you. They could live at a distance from you, so they need to like travel to see you or you guys need to like FaceTime or whatever. Um, but this person is very interested in getting to know you and um i feel like being very honest with you because of the fact that people they want to be transparent because of the fact that people have used love and they've used words in order to manipulate you they're very aware of that okay so they're very clear when they speak to you they don't want to mince their words okay they do want you to trust them why the queen of cups why is this person feeling queen of cups they do this person has a lot of feelings for you okay <laughs> why the queen of cups why is the queen of cups here they're emotional when they think about people hurting you too why is the queen of cups here because of the queen of cups oh my god that's so sweet that's so sweet this person feels a spiritual connection with you and they feel let me tell you something they want to love you they they know that you're also a healer. They know that they can get 100% support from you. Um, you're intuitive. They are intuitively connected to you. This is really beautiful energy. It's like just to reiterate, I really feel something for you. I really am going to be here for you. Why else the Queen of Cups? Why is this person feeling? Okay, yeah. this person might slightly be addicted to the magic that you are okay um now i'm gonna say this this is a little this is gonna be a, a little weird here okay because i rarely get this and i rarely talk about this because i feel like people talk about it all the time just to draw people into tarot readings i don't do that shit okay i just keep it a buck if you've been here long enough with me, you're not going to see me be like, they doing spell work. They doing spell work. No, but this person actually may have because <laughs> this right here, it's quite possible that somebody did some type of work here. Okay. The magician, the devil, and okay. But I feel like this person is really under your spell is what I feel. They're very addicted to you. There's something about your warmth, about your love and the connection that this person has with you. So even if they try to like, I don't even want to think about Taurus right now, they still keep coming back to that. Okay. This person is addicted to 
your vibe. They're addicted to the way you love. They're very addicted to you, okay? They could very possibly have done something, gone somewhere, did a little love something, you know, so that the feeling is mutual. Uh, but I very rarely say that stuff, okay? Because I just don't, people are just not cooking up cauldrons like that. Let's just keep it at 100. <laughs> All right. Oh, why do we have the Nine of Wands as the challenge? Why do we have the Nine of Wands as the challenge? Why three cards? Okay, yeah, okay. Yep. It's the same. Look, nine of wands twice. There's a lot of mirroring happening here. This person is afraid too. They're afraid. They're guarded as well. Okay. The, the, the challenge is you both really want something serious and it's almost like, are we ready to take it to that next level? You know what I'm saying? Are we, are we, you know, you want to set boundaries. You want it to be a healthy connection. So the challenge is, um, you know, not giving up on the connection. It's knowing that, yes, there's been some, some hurt here. Okay. We have Taurus energy. You could be dealing with another Taurus. So this person has it as a pla placement. We have Scorpio and Capricorn as well. Okay, guys. And, um, um, Aries. Uh, so I feel like the fundamentals, getting the basics out of the way, really learning about each other and taking time to grow the relationship into something that's healthy for both of you. Okay. So you're both kind of guarded, but the vibe is there because you see this person as like, kind of like a little bit of a dream come true. And it might be like, you know, it might be kind of a little like off-putting. Okay. Let's see. What's this person's next moves towards Taurus? Please show me what their next moves are. What is this person going to do? How are they going to approach Taurus? What's their next moves towards Taurus, please? Their next moves towards Taurus. Hi, Sachi. She loves to come sit by me in the readings. Hi, Saj. After all of this, this person might end this and walk away. I don't know. Is that what they mean, though? This is unable to commit with the Seven of Cups. They could be distracted by somebody else or something else. They might walk away from this. Or, let me clarify this. Clarify this death for me, please. Okay. Clarify this Five of Pentacles. Okay. And clarify this Seven of Cups in reverse, please. Okay. All right. This makes more sense. All right. So this person, their next moves are... Uh, 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 Sachi, no. Um, so what you have here is a person who wants you, but is... Um, I don't want to say they're a commitment phobe. They have to be sure that you are the right thing before they fully commit. So this person, Scorpio energy, two of cups, they're shifting. They're What they're trying to do right now is deal with a part of them that is very used to um, just abandoning connections and moving forward because they see another shiny object okay they want to be sure that they are 100 percent willing to be all in and that part of them that is that part of them that might get distracted by something is completely gone okay not only that they may be talking to other people at this point so their next move is to let go of those people five of pentacles seven of cups in reverse we have judgment 
being very aware they need to let go of some other little sparkly thing that they're checking out and move very rapidly towards you because this person the they know that your soulmate energy here this is definitely a soulmate and they they want to move toward you okay but they know that they're going to have to end any kind of other frivolous connections that they have and they want to be a hundred percent sure that you are the one and i'm telling you when they are sure of that they're going to let go of everybody else and fully commit to you so if you've been waiting it might take a little bit of time but they need to end whatever is going on up here that makes them think you know um they need to stop somewhere with you okay if that makes sense all right so i think i'm gonna leave it right there for right now and let's see let's get another card or two here for you guys i actually i like this okay so if you had so many doubt or questions about this I, I think this person really has the feels for you i just feel like they're being guarded they may not be telling you just yet okay we have retreat it's time to disconnect from the world i feel like this person wants to like go away with you let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally so if you keep trying to get an answer out of this person just let it happen okay they have to deal with letting go of other people and other things in order for them to commit to you may not know that they're talking to somebody else look at that that's your soulmate. I just said it. It's come out like a million times here. There's a lot of cups. There's Knight of Cups and Queen of Cups and the Hierophant. This is taking everything to another level and somebody wanting to be 100% sure. Okay. So definitely this is a soulmate connection. Just let go of trying to um, control all of this. Okay. Back off from <laughs> pushing an agenda. You kind of have to let this person lead a little bit, okay? So I, I definitely love this energy for you guys. If this did resonate for you, please make sure you smash the love button for your girl. Definitely comment down below. Tell me about what your situation is here. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.